Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today we are going to discover the cause of IBD. <gasps> Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, turn on notifications, share the video, and don't forget you can also go follow me on my Instagram, that's also called The Art of Being Ill. Now let's get started, because clearly you are not here to hear about subscriptions and Instagram, you are here to hear about the cause of IBD. A new study has been released, and this study was created by the Francis Crick Institute and uh, the University College London. And they think they may have found the cause of IBD. It's insane. And let's hope they're right. They found that there was a weakness in the DNA of people with IBD. Actually, it's estimated that about 95% of people with IBD have this weakness in the DNA. They specifically studied the chromosome 21 that is connected to IBD patients and other patients with autoimmune diseases. They studied a certain DNA section that reinforces the gene ETS2 in microphages, which is a type of white blood cells. And these microphages, they release cytokine, which induces the inflammation in the bowel. Dr. James Lee from the Francis Crick Institute calls this a crucial discovery in how to treat people with IBD. He says that there are already approved medicines on the market for cancer, so different kind of, kind of uh, chemo drugs that might actually be able to help people with IBD. They are expecting to start clinical trials within the next five years. Now, I think this is incredibly interesting. Maybe we are one step closer to be able to cure IBD and maybe other types of autoimmune diseases. Um, so I think this is a really, really, really interesting discovery and I can't wait to see what the future brings uh, with this research. The only thing I will say is that I, I, I didn't really, I, I didn't seem to understand that in the study. I'm not sure if they are thinking that different types of chemo drugs might be able to actually cure IBD or just decrease inflammation. Because if it's, if it's a cure, they actually think they can cure IBD patients with some sort of chemo drug, then sure, I might try it. I might be willing to do it. But if it's just decreasing the inflammation and something we should have to take every day or once a week or whatever, then I'm not sure I prefer a chemo drug over the biological medicine that I'm personally taking at the moment. Chemo has way more side effects and way more um, permanent side effects. And it's way harder for the body. So I'm not really sure it really, but I don't think they are sure either exactly how to use the chemo drugs. So they, because they do say they have a lot of side effects. So it's not just giving IBD patients some kind of chemo treatment like you would do with a cancer patient where it affects the whole body, you know, directly in the vein. And then we just kill everything inside of you. Uh, I, I don't think that's what they are thinking. They are talking about that we need to figure out how to use these cancer medicines, chemo drugs, um, with IBD patients. So I'm just not sure exactly what they're thinking. Is it a cure or not? Like, will we be able to treat in a way where we become more symptom free and live more normally? Uh, or what is it exactly? But I, I don't think they even know themselves right now. So, but I, you know, if it can cure me, sure. I will try some sort of chemo uh, pill. I don't think they're thinking it as a uh, right in the vein treatment, but like, sure, I would do that if it could cure me or make me feel like I'm cured if I take it once a week or whatever. Um, but if it's, it's like not a cure, then I, I prefer staying on my biological drugs because chemo is really, really, really not to be messed with. It's way harder for the body. I'm not sure they know either exactly how to use it. They just know that these types of um, chemo drugs can work on the weakness in our DNA. So they, uh, the further research, uh, as I read it, 
it looks like they want to find out how to use them best way possible and without harming patients more than necessary and all that so it's gonna be really really interesting i will link in the description down below um for uh, to the study so you can read it yourself uh and see what you think but i think it's really really interesting and it makes me kind of happy that they are doing so much research in this field because i feel like it's it's been a little bit behind and you know um, most research has gone to cancer to be frankly honest with you and it just makes me really really happy that it seems like somebody is actually studying why we get IBD and other autoimmune diseases so that maybe in the future we can have at least an easier life so that makes me really happy and I'm really really interested um, and I'm really excited to, to follow this research and see how it goes um there is also i not so long ago i actually made a video on um uh, another study that suggested that um that probiotics actually might be able to be a treatment for people with bowel diseases and i will link to that you can click the link up here to watch that video and um what do you think do you think we are one step closer to curing IBD and hopefully other autoimmune diseases as well let me know in the comment section down below and again don't forget to subscribe like the video turn on notifications and go follow me on my instagram that's also called the art of being ill and i will see you next time right here on my channel the art of being ill